So, what do you know? It crashed, of course, but we made it back. I did promise someone I would try to get that death recorded, but it seems it was preventable. He actually managed to kill it. I'm glad I took a stab at that request. Now then, we need to get the other small plant from the schoolyard, kill the mantises there, and return the sunny smiles. Then we can get on with finishing up Good Springs. But let's save in case of yet another crash. Now, because it crashed, we, uh, we did wind up having to restart from the last save. I'm not going to lie to you, so you're going to see the level up happen again. Although there is video evidence that we managed, it is not in the game files. Sadly, it did not record any of that data. Let's clear out the mantises and open up that locker for the other quest given. I love a little murder in the morning, don't you? Actually, is our lock picking high enough even with a skill magazine? Because that will raise it by 10. But it needs 25. Nope, best not to waste it then. I suppose we won't be doing that particular practice. But we will... be learning how to brew things. Which will come in handy more later when we want to cook animal flesh, say, the uh, gecko meat we got or tan it into armor, or create poisons of our own. Those can be a lot of fun. Let's just jog right on back to Sunny Smiles. Smiles. As wide as the eye can see. She's actually a decent character. And a very decent person, moreover. Despite how fun it is to say her name is some sort of horror tagline. Mind the gap stab. Now, anything useful in the boxes today? Nothing, nothing, hello. Junk. Junk we can sell. Sell for medicine. And better armor. And supplies. And food. Let me see what you got. Yeah, these'll do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. I don't know. Fires burn, Sonny. Burn. Well, all right. If you say so. Minus one perception, but plus one HP for 18 seconds for a whole of 18 HP. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, 
I hope that's enough to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. We will do that. But first... There's a fellow over here. In a trailer. Who we might want to have a little bit of a... Conversation with. Where are you, buddy, old pal? Are you over there? Is that a you? Is it? It is, Mr. Barthorn. Can you help me? What's wrong? My girl is trapped by geckos on the ridge, and I can't get to her. Please, she's going to die. Where is she? Go up the path, past the broken radio tower, and go to the right. They're at the top of the trail. I'll see what I can do. You will? Thank you for helping me. Please hurry. Now, this man is scamming us. He's trying to send us to our death so that he can loot our corpse. But if we do succeed, he'll still try to kill us so that he can take what's at the top of the hill. Thing is, we want to kill the geckos and him. And in character, we don't know that yet. So we're going to do as he has asked. And then we're going to get on with the quest. If the geckos don't kill us, they're surprisingly tough little serious things down here in the valley. See, that's a young one, but his, his parents are not going to be very happy. Wherever you are. <laughs> I have a machete with your name on it, just as you have teeth with my name on them. You can't hide forever. Luke, join me is the only way. <laughs> Well, there's the monster mod rearing its head. We have salamanders and golden geckos today, folks. And down goes Stab. Guess it's better we go back to town after all. We don't want to mess with those fire-breathing laddies with the giant battle axes, now do we? No, sir. We are a sensible courier. By which we mean we will have to be in order to stay alive. <laughs> now, in this game, you earn different reputation points depending on what you do for or against a faction. With Good Springs right now, we're neutral. It can range from tolerant or neutral to vilified or absolutely hated on shot on sight to being idolized and held as a great member of the community still have not done that second level up yet <laughs> what do you know Hello, Latex. Goodbye, Latex. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Done. He's too far away. Well, we would probably trigger some antagonism anyway. Instead, we'll ask what all of that was about. And that will begin our quest options. Evening. 
Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. I... Hmm... I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Do you know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who... Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Did my attackers say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. It sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. And why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. We just saw that a couple of moments ago. Albeit with a knife, not a gun, but all the same. Quarry Junction would technically be slightly over where I told you the Scorpion Hills were. Back in character? So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15? He'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Do you know the robot who rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. You don't like him. It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. What does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind. Let's talk about something else. Fine by me. Does Good Spring get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Anything interesting going on in the rest of the wasteland? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust-up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Hmm. So, what can you tell me about this Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. And tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Hmm. I overheard your argument. What was all that about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? You mean murder him? That's not our way, even if Cobb is scum. He can bluster and threaten all he wants. What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chang gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. It was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Yes, that does sound like a little bit of an oversight, especially if you're already spread thin, huh? Alright. What happens if I help Ringo? 
If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the Powder Gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. So, I hope Ringo and Good Springs will like me more. What if I help the Powder Gangers? He's a convict. Oh, who's that? Just without the chains. Said his name I was Cobb. Powder Gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. doop doo My bad. So, yes. Don't know why you'd want to do a thing like that. Yep, you'd get on their good side, but people around here wouldn't appreciate it one bit. Now then, show me what you have for sale, won't you, Trudy, dear? I'm sure I've got something you like. I've got something you might like. Take this gecko hide, and I will take this lovely set of... Hmm... Don't need more speech. I might just take the raw caps, honestly. Alcohol is great and all, don't get me wrong, but... On the other hand, skill book... And enough alcohol that I don't feel like I have wasted your time, my good bartender. And this farmhand outfit. And some nice healing sunset sarsaparilla. And you take this. And that will ultimately make my weight load quite a bit lighter. Although it does also deprive me of armors to change into when this one breaks. Give me a shout if you need anything else. Would you like me to take a look at your broken radio when I have enough skill to repair it? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Such a gentleman. Be careful out there. You don't even know. You think you know, but you don't know. You don't even know. We'll level up the same way we did last time. But this time, we will save so you don't have to see the same level up three times in a row. <laughs> I'm not that cruel. Now, we could go talk to Ringo, or we could go talk to the Powder Ganger. Or we could go stab the Powder Ganger, and then talk to Ringo anyway. And, given this character's proclivities and his general methodology on life, and his name, I imagine that the very fact I gave you that option out loud has already told you which one we're going to do. Hello there. What the hell is your problem? What the hell is my problem? My problem is your head is not on the ground yet. But we're going to fix that just as soon as I set down this microphone. A one, a two, a one, two, three, four. What the? Oh yeah! He slashes, he slices, he makes Julian fries. Get your stab today. How to drag an item. Wait, wasn't it? Yes, that was it. 
Let's just set this in front of the doorway where Ringo is, and then we'll go inside. So, if you couldn't tell by now, this game is not exactly suitable for children, even before, you know, modding. But I find, looking at the gaping hole in the ragged flesh where the head used to be attached to the body, slightly comforting in its own way. It makes things right in the world. For Stab. Of course, if we had some radio, we could pretend he was nodding along to some jive music with these little animations in the air here. So let's do that. Ladies and gentlemen, you're listening to me, Mr. New Vegas, and you look extraordinarily beautiful right now. Well, you know what that means, folks. Time for some news. Tensions are brewing in Freeside between the ruling gang known as video. the Kings and the large number of NCR squatters seeking refuge there. The leader of the Kings, who would only identify himself as the King, voiced his displeasure calling NCR citizens, quote, the devil in disguise. He added he didn't want to see the NCR in the ghetto and call for a mass, quote, return to sender. These headlines were brought to you by Vault 21. Vault 21. Everything's better when you experience it in a vault. More yeah, classics yeah. coming right up for you, so stay tuned. This broken robot is part of a mod where you get to build your own robot army if you wish. This character isn't going to be smart enough for that, but we'll take it anyway. We'll sell it or something, I'm sure. Let's go have a chat with Ringo, not with the head. We tossed that aside in a broken building. That's close enough. Who are you, and what do you want with me? To stab away your problems. I mean, I'm not an enemy, if that's what you're asking. Sorry about the gun. You just caught me off guard, that's all. We got off to a bad start. What say we start over with a friendly game of Caravan? You know how to play? A man named Joe Cobb was looking for you. But I killed him. You're welcome. Uh, thanks, I guess. Cobb wasn't the problem, though. I could have handled him if he ever found me. Cobb's friends are the bigger problem. And when he doesn't get back, they'll be coming here for blood. There's no way I can fight them all. What are you going to do about the Powder Gangers? I'm gonna lay low for as long as I can. All I've got left on me are a handful of caps. But you get me out of this, and I'll make sure the Crimson Caravan pays you back. You've got my word. Don't stab me in the back. I do all the stabbing. It'll have to do. What now? We just end up sharing the same grave if it's just the two of us. Now, if some of the other people in town were also on board... There's only so much novelty you can have from Star Wars wandering around Fallout, really. Although the laser rifle was helpful. But that's for the other character again. Really, I should s <laughs> switch as soon as the gang is dead.
I could pick the door, but am I being watched? Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Hello. I hope you didn't just bring a heap of trouble down on Good Springs by killing Joe Cobb like that. His friends might come looking for him, and I don't think they're gonna care who was involved in his death or not. Well, what's done is done. So, uh, what can I do for you? Be careful out there. Bye-bye, Trudy. Have a good one. Open 24 hours, except for when she goes home early. Of course. Of course. Sonny uh, smiles. I don't think Joe Cobb knew what hit him. I'm hoping you took him down for a good reason and not for fun. <laughs> oh, but Sonny smiles. Everyone needs a little fun now and again, don't they? <laughs> Professional face. I'm going to help Ringo take on the Powder Gangers. I might need your help. Say no more. I'm in. Just like that? Just like that. I have a feeling that I'm going to end up fighting those guys one way or another. So I might as well get it over with. Even though Joe Cobb's dead, his friends will come after the town eventually. However, between you, me, and Ringo, we aren't exactly a force to be reckoned with. A lot of people around here look up to Trudy. If you could convince Trudy to join us, some of the folks in town might decide to help out as well. I know Easy Pete's got a stock of dynamite somewhere, and Chet just got a ship. You should help me take down the powder gang. Bullets, explosions, lots of fun. The very fun Sunny doesn't want us to have, but she doesn't have to know, baby. I was planning on sitting this one out, but for some reason, I can't help but like you. I'm with you. Oh, yeah. Let me have a word with a few other folks, and I'll see if I can't round up some more members for this militia you're creating. While everyone does own a gun, we could stand to be a little better equipped. The general store probably has... Oh yes, another interesting feature from the vanilla game this time, actually. Whenever you save, it will show you your karma rating as well as your level. If you're doing too many bad things, it will be a negative connotation, and if you do a positive set of things, it will be positive. Look for it on Holotape. More news for you. Nuclear winter wonderland. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. The way I heard it, I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. 
<laughs> I don't have to explain what kind of mod that came from. Um, do you know anything about the people who attacked me? The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. I need supplies to fight the Powder Gangers. Now just hold on. I never voted to take on the Powder Gangers. That's a thousand cap investment you're talking about. Never mind. Right. Show me what you have for sale. people with some leather armor and extra ammo. Sure hope it's worth it. And uh, I'll be guarding the store while all this is going on. I have to put my business first. You understand. Of course, of course. What makes the surplus ammo inferior? It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. That's one of the things that I do enjoy about Take this game. Take it easy game. now. Not only do things break, but different things make it break. Whether it's the radiation, the wind, badly made bullets. You have to keep many things in mind. And it sort of adds a little bit of realism. Not as much as Metro Last Light or anything, of course, but... Just enough to feel nice. Now then, Shed is watching so we can't steal that modest night armor. But it's 32 pounds anyway, so Stab don't want it. Stab is good. This fellow over here is the storyteller from a popular set of YouTube videos and a mod companion. But we'll be covering him in the mod games. Right now, it's back on to Doc to see if we can weasel, I mean, request some medicine.